The Texas GOP convention kicked off on Thursday, and while they had some technical glitches, well, a lot of technical glitches, one thing actually stood out, and that is what Governor Abbott had to say about a possible shutdown and a mask. Hey, everyone, I'm Chad Hasty, host of the Chad Hasty Show, which airs weekday mornings, 8.30 to 11 a.m. Central Time on News Talk, 95.1 FM and 790 AM KFYO. Ken Herman was actually uh, watching this. It was a uh, pre-recorded video by the governor, uh, Ken Herman, with the Austin American Statesman, uh, posted that uh, the governor had this to say uh, about masks. Quote, I know many of you do not like the mask requirement. I don't either. Uh, the last thing that any of us want is to lock Texas back down again. We must do all that we can to prevent that, but each day, the facts get worse. Abbott went on to say just this past month, hospitalizations increased every day and quadrupled to more than 10,000. Many regions running out of ICU beds and deaths have almost quadrupled, reaching more than 100 in one day last week. Abbott went on to say, if we don't slow th this disease quickly, our hospitals will get overrun, and I fear it will even inflict some of the people I'm talking to right now. Uh, Abbott said, I know, uh, continue to talk to the, uh, the folks watching. I know many of you uh, say that my orders are unconstitutional, but remember, I was Attorney General who fought for your First Amendment, your Second Amendment, and your Fifth Amendment rights here in the United States Supreme Court. Uh, now, I know there are issues that we may differ on, but I know uh, there are so much uh, so much that we agree on, like beating Joe Biden and reelecting Donald Trump. And uh, Abbott went, uh, went on uh, to talk about the... Um, the, you know, uh, the, the election between Donald Trump and Joe Biden. But once again, the governor not ruling out uh, a shutdown of Texas and maybe, uh, according to how you read into it, laying the groundwork uh, for a shutdown to happen. Now, there have been lots of rumors uh, this week, and if you've listened to my show, I'm, I've talked about uh, those rumors. Uh, one thing that, uh, you know, I, I noticed yesterday is that apparently there's a NASCAR race over at Texas Motor Speedway on Sunday and a shutdown of Texas on Sunday uh, would probably hamper that uh, race going forward. So who knows what's going to happen? Uh, the governor publicly is stating that he doesn't want to shut down the state of Texas. But I keep hearing rumors of folks down in Austin who believe that the governor is looking at doing this, at least regionally, uh, maybe at, you know as soon as this week, even next week. Uh, so it's something to keep an eye on. Uh, but the uh, governor is saying, listen, if everybody will just mask up, everything will be OK. And, uh, you know, over the next four to eight weeks, uh, we should be able to uh, get everything uh, you know, back into uh, where where it should be. The CDC, by the way, if you're wondering where the governor got that figure, the CDC came out uh, on Thursday and said that if Americans, if all Americans were to wear a mask, uh, then we could we could basically have coronavirus not defeated, but coronavirus under control within the next month or two, uh, which would put us at a four to eight week uh, little timeline. Uh, so, listen, that's what the CDC says. It's what the governor is saying. Uh, they're going to keep imploring Americans to wear a mask. Uh, we'll see if, uh, if that happens and uh, if the numbers begin to go down. Listen, we know that more Texans are wearing masks. I can tell you right now more Texans are wearing masks, uh, more than what I saw three weeks ago. Uh, that is for sure. So will it have an impact on uh, hospitalizations and deaths? Hopefully it will. Again, I don't care how many people, and, and this is going to sound a little cold here, uh, I don't care about you know how many people are testing positive for coronavirus. Uh, and, and listen, I know we don't know everything yet about coronavirus, and I'm not saying that everyone needs to run out and get coronavirus, but the vast majority of people under the age of like 50 are doing fine if they catch coronavirus. Uh, you know, younger people are doing just fine if they get coronavirus. Uh, you know, there are, you know, some people who have, uh, you know, other health conditions uh, that would be impacted by coronavirus. And obviously age has uh, has a part to play in this. Uh, so, you know, that that's my main concern. Let's keep the vulnerable population safe and secure. 
Uh, but, uh, you know, let, let's let's also, you know, continue to take a look at, you know, how many hospital beds there are. Are hospitals becoming overrun? Uh, are there, you know, uh, more deaths uh, compared to, you know, percentage wise deaths compared to the tests that are going on compared to what we saw you know, even four or five, six weeks ago. So a lot of data that we can still analyze and look at uh, moving forward. And, oh, yeah, hey, uh, they say four to eight weeks we can have this thing under control. I think schools are supposed to start in a few weeks. Yeah, don't see that happening. Not well. Tune in to the Chad Hasty Show weekday mornings, 8.30 to 11 a.m. Central Time. News Talk 95.1 FM and 790 AM KFYO. Have a great day.